treat Is this from God? Of course it is. Right, so if this book from God says that you can marry children, do you think that that's right? Well, yeah, I would. And on what grounds? Yes, infants, go on, I'll talk to you. No, 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 you're not talking. You're not, no, 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 you're not going to dodge me. I'll answer you. You're either going to let me dominate you. I will dominate you. Well, what you're saying is, Mohammed is not the best example for today. He's the best example for mankind. Except when he's marrying children. It doesn't matter what the Quran says. It doesn't matter what the Quran says. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. It does not matter what the Quran says. We should stop following it. Okay. How are you, Bob? You okay? I'm all right, thank you. How remember are you? Remember me? We talked one time, you know. I, I don't. Your tears I, don't I don't. I don't remember. Yeah, we, yeah. we talked a lot. A, yeah, a lot. You talked to a lot of people. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, you know, just basically what I what I wanted to ask is that I hear a lot of Christians and other people accuse Prophet Muhammad of marrying a child. Yeah, he did. And uh, I, uh, I one one time I came across, you know, something about Isaac. Yeah. I. It says that he married a child as well. Can we can we pull it up? It's uh, it's in the Jewish tradition. It's not in the Bible. So it's irrelevant then to Christianity. You need to speak to but, the Jews. But, but the fact is, did it happen or not? Well, the, the thing, thing is, is, so let me answer that. So let me answer that question. Um, we Christians don't accept the Jewish Talm uh, extra biblical writings okay. as authoritative in our faith. All right, all right. If you can't show me yeah. that Isaac married a child in the Bible, yeah. then it isn't an argument I need to answer. But, uh, Aisha, Aisha's age is not in the Quran. Is it in the Bible? Does it have to be in the Bible? Yes, it has to be in the Bible. But if it's not in the Bible, it didn't happen. If it's not in the Bible, then it's not an authority it's for us authority, to respond is to. It, is it a historical fact? The, the, for, for, no, I, I don't believe it will be. Okay. And how about Augustine? You also mentioned. Yeah, Augustine. yeah, yeah. So, he's so are we, are we, are we moving off the? Are we moving off the? You know, well, I can't. I, I, I don't know how to answer you if you say that because well, you're avoiding it. I'm not really. You're avoiding. You're it asking me to defend texts that the Jews need to defend. But, I'm a Christian. I defend the Bible. But you know, you you have to be a fair man. You know. I am being fair. Don't deny something that could have happened. You know. I'm it's not denying something that could yeah. have happened. If, if, if a man like Isaac married a child, then that, that would destroy Christianity, Christianity for you. So here's, here's the difference, right? When I point out that Muhammad had sex with a child, I'm quoting sources that Muslims accept as authoritative. Your hadiths, okay. your sahih hadiths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're asking me to defend something that is based upon Jewish texts that I do not accept as authoritative. I accept you, you the Bible look, as authority. I do not accept the hadith that says she was nine. Okay, what you, do you, you, what do you, you think are about you a, that? So you're, are you not a Sunni Muslim? No, no, I don't accept the hadith. Based on what? Because it could have been fabricated. It could because have been there's fabricated. there's another hadith that says she was 19. So do you not agree with Imam Bukhari? Uh, not everything in Bukhari is, is correct. Okay, not so everything. on what basis do you say that Imam Bukhari was wrong for saying that Muhammad had no, sex no, no. with a child. Look, look, I'm, I'm using the same thing, you, the same freedom you're using. You say no, no, I no, don't... no, you're not. You're not at all. No, no, let me say this. You're not at you all. You say you don't accept Jewish tradition and Jewish sources. And I say I don't accept everything in Bukhari. Yeah, but what you're I'm saying same, to you, you know? no, 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 again, you, you, this is the, it's a false dichotomy that you're using. So let me I try and clarify what this false dichotomy is. The false dichotomy is this, you as, a, as, a, as a, a Muslim, and I'm assuming that you're a Sunni Muslim. I am, yeah. Right, so you are a Sunni Muslim. Yeah, yeah. You, as a matter of your belief, accept the authoritative nature of Sahih al-Bukhari. He is a, someone who is esteemed in Muslim circles. And it's Sahih al-Bukhari, a Muslim, recording Islamic traditions in an Islamic book for Muslims that says Muhammad had sex with a child. Okay. Right, one can second. No, I haven't nice finished. Way. I haven't I'm finished. Right I haven't. Nice no, I don't need. To, I don't need to. I don't need to sugarcoat no. the fact that Muhammad had sex with a child. Just that we can continue with our dis so, conversation. So, 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 one second. One second. So, one second. So, one second. We as Christians accept the Bible. The text that you're referring to, which you haven't quoted yet, but the text that you're referring to is something that we Christians have never said is authoritative. Okay, never. Okay, I, I so it's a false let's dichotomy. Move on. Let's move false on from dichotomy. That. Let's move on from yeah. that. Uh, your Bible say donkey about uh, Ismail. Go on, what about it? Don't you think that is intolerance? No. It's not 
and Torrance. No, do you, do you want to pull up the text? I, sure. it's, have it's, you got the text? Yes, I have. Shall we see it in context? Ismail is the patriarch of Arabs and Muslims. Shall we, shall we, shall we see it in... Genesis 16, 12. Let's just look at it in context. In context. In context, let's so, look at it. So, let's look at it. Genesis so, so 16, 12. It's so hard to say donkey about the patriarch of other people. Let, let's have a look at it in context. Okay, in context. The, so Genesis 16, 12. Right, so we'll read it from... Just read 12 first. Right, we'll read 12 first and then we'll read it in context. He will be a wild donkey of a man. His hand will be against everyone and everyone's hand will be These against him. And he will donkey. live to the east. He will live to the east of all of his brothers. Now, let's now read it in context because that's what we said we were going to do. Because the thing is, once again, you're trying to create a false dichotomy. <laughs> The hadiths that talk about Muhammad marrying a six-year-old child and having sex with a nine-year-old child like are Isaac. given in context. They are not taken out of context. Now, let us go to this verse in context. It says, Moreover, the angel of the Lord said to her, I will greatly multiply your descendants so that they will be too many to count. The angel of the Lord answer, said friend. to her further, I got your Behold, you, can, you, can you are with child and you will bear a son and you shall call his name Ishmael. So in context, what we see is that the verse is saying Ishmael is blessed by God to have many descendants. Well, why you call him Let me then? finish. Why you call Let him me finish because you want to pull out your choice thing out of context and ignore the context. I am not going to be silenced. I'm going to finish what I'm saying and then you can reply. So the verse in context says that Ishmael is blessed by God. And then it goes on to say, because the Lord has given heed to your affliction. So the Lord took pity on Hagar and saved the child Ishmael and then it goes on to say and then it goes on to say he will be a wild donkey of a man he will be a wild donkey of a man his hand will be against everyone and everyone's hand will be against him and he will live to the east of his brothers in other words it's describing the character of Ishmael it's saying what the character of Ishmael is that Ishmael will be a man who is at war, his descendants will be at war with the peoples that surround them. That's describing him, it's not insulting him. Okay. Quick question, you said Muhammad had sex with a six-year-old. No, I didn't, you didn't listen. I said he married a six-year-old. No, you didn't listen. Let me, let me correct you. Yes, and the video will show that I'm correct because, bro, you know what's the problem? I've had this debate for four years and for four years I have said exactly the same thing. Muhammad had sex with a nine-year-old child and married her when she was six. Now let me ask you this question. Do you think that a six-year-old child is ready for marriage? Answer the question. Right. So do you think I'm right to point out that there's a problem there? Are you, st are you telling me that you, you, you think it's up for question about whether six-year-olds are open for marriage? I'm asking you, does it say that in the hadith? Because you, you said yes, it says it in the hadith. So it doesn't just say marriage, it also says sex, right? It says it, when she was nine, they had sex. Let me read them to you. You really must pay attention. Let, 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 let me repeat. So? That's in UK. Yes. And are they a prophet that you should follow? And imagine about you talking Are they about a prophet that you should follow? Years ago. Are they a prophet you should follow? I that time, but not this time. Every time it was, there was a purpose. They had a purpose. Okay, so let, let's let's just read the hadith. Let let let's just let let's just read the hadith. Check on your Bible. Joseph married musical Maria at the age of twelve. No, it doesn't. Show me. Show me. Show me, show me, show me. Come on, use Google, use Google. Show me, show me. Sahih al Bukhari, Sahih al Bukhari. I've not got it on here. So Sahih al Bukhari says that Muhammad married a child when she was six and had sex with her when she was nine. It says that in Bukhari. That's what it says in Bukhari. Right. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. 
can someone Google it? I don't think. Let's let's have it. Let's pull it up. Hadith is not Quran. Let's let's pull it up. Hadith is not Quran. Let's just expose this brother for 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 the crap that he's talking about. Which version you want to talk about? Let's talk about it. The New Testament. Which one? Which one? Here's another question. Again, I'm not a biologist expert or like a doctor, but isn't it true that two three hundred years ago everyone got married like at a much younger age? Yes, they did. In the Jewish community, in the Jewish community, in the Christian community. But let me let me explain. Is it if that's the flower? case, why do we have a problem with someone marrying a, a, a child as it's defined today? Right, let me explain why it's a problem. And let me is explain it, it to it you. Now, let me explain why it's a problem. Okay, wait, wait. And let me explain to this guy why it's a problem. Right? Because, right, we all know that people in the past married young children. But we don't look to the kings of Christendom and say that they are prophets that you should be following today. Maha Muslims say Muhammad is a prophet you follow today. So when he married a child and had sex with a child, that's a problem. Are you saying because Muslims have to follow Muhammad? Ye as a moral example. But do we see Muslims marrying sex as a right Yes! Where? In Iraq, in Afghanistan, uh, in, in Kurdistan, in, UK, um, in, in UK, Pakistan. In UK, 17, do you think that that's a problem? In UK, 1770, from 7 yeah. to 9, they do get you married. Think do you think that's a problem? Google it, fam. And you're not 70, listening, bro, are you? I'm listening. You're going back. Your prophet is I'm your prophet a moral example? So he's not a moral example today. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's forget about Muhammad for a second. Today, yeah. does marriage happen? No, like not in that age. Yes, they do. Show me. Yes, they do. So I would have thought it would be... But are you telling me Joseph he didn't marry was he called Mary at the age of 12? Bob, do you accept that it does happen in the minority like communities, like but it's not really so encouraged? I mean, I'll really you be surprised that everyone is married yeah, a six-year-old. Right. Let, let, me, let, me, let me just pull up the reference for this guy. Oh, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please listen. Oh. Are you telling me Muslims are actively encouraging men to marry six-year-olds? Or is it just something that... It just yes, I am telling you, I am telling you, that there are active uh, Muslim ulama in the Islamic world today. No, they are in the main. No, no, no. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Ali Ali Dawa, in this park, said that he would marry his prepubescent child. That's Ali Dawa. He's on. He's on video. He's on video. He's on video, having done it. Ali, he would never say that. Uh, he did say he that. He would never say we've that. We've got it on camera, I believe, JC. Is that true? You got everything on we've camera. Got we've got that on camera. You asked me, would I allow my daughter to get married at night? I'm saying the analogy is wrong. Because the, our teachers teach us the woman has to be sexually, mentally, and physically ready. Does that means so if, 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 if my daughter. No, no, no. If my daughter wants to be okay, Hold on. Let me finish. If my daughter reached the age of menstruation at nine years old, I would say, you. You are ready. What's it like? You are ready to get married. However, it's forbidden for me to do so. If she says that, I don't want to get married. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. So you, you asked me. Let's, let's just see. If that's the case, why are we not saying that children? In 1970, actually in 1970, legal age marriage was from 7 to 9 years old. Bob, if what you're saying is true, why are we not saying was them walking around? So you said her grandfather was beautiful? Guy, it's because it's illegal in this country to do so. Dumbass. Are you telling, are you honestly telling me? Or your, your logic is this, your logic is this, because you live in a country in which marrying children is illegal and because you don't see Muslim men marrying children in a country in which it's illegal, that that means it doesn't happen in the Muslim world. Is that your logic? Answer my question. Is that your logic? So, so your argument, your argument, your argument is Muslims are still doing it today. There are still Still child marriages. So Does what? That Does that so prove that, that, that there are no Prophet child Muhammad? marriages in the Islamic Muhammad? world? Are you telling me? So you don't follow Muhammad? So you don't. So you don't follow. So you don't follow Muhammad. So you don't follow Muhammad. You don't follow Muhammad. 
He fell on ice a commanded three year old girl. You walked away, bro. Yeah, because you are You walked crazy. away, bro. What country do you consider? You're crazy. Hold on, hold on. What country do you consider to be the Who Islamic can I talk to you? Nobody can. Name one country. country. What country do you Name one country. Extremist. Right, so let's pull it up. Let's Bob, put it up. Bob, please let's put it up. Bob, you keep your Let's pull it up. You know what you know what the bro, brother, brother, right? You have already condemned Muhammad's behavior. Do you do you condemn Muhammad's behavior? Do you condemn Muhammad's behavior? Do you condemn? Answer the question. Do you condemn Muhammad for marrying a child? This is Muhammad's behavior. This is point. Do you condemn him for having sex with a child? Do you condemn Isaac? Right. Okay. So you have the same problem with Muhammad that I do. No, but you're you're claiming. No, we don't have no problem. So you condemn that. He literally just said he has a problem. He literally just said he has a problem. Are you telling me God can come from a? You act like it's happening in every huh? culture. Are you telling me a creator can create his bro, creation please, and then the creation will give birth to his creator? Please. please. <sighs> you you dumbass. You accept it's happening in Christianity. You accept dumbass it's happening and a liar, man. You accept it historically. It's You've got a problem with your own prophet oh. and your own hadiths. You dumbass. Oh. No, brother. You're, you're, you're angry. Why are you angry? I'm angry because you're telling lies. Lies about what? What's the lie? About God come from a what, what's the lie? Do you think God what's the lie? That Muhammad had sex with a child. How old was Aisha? Muhammad is a man. How old was Aisha? How old was Aisha? How old was Aisha? He's a man. He's a man. How old was his wife? 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 I'll just come back to talking to you. It's pointless talking to this guy. Do you believe a God come from a woman? Hold on, bro, please. Do you believe Bob, that? Name us one country that represents the Islamic world. Why don't he not answer my Sorry? question? Sorry? Name me one country that represents the Islamic world today. Saudi Arabia. So it's not important. Saudi Arabia, yeah. It's important go, God, please, not bro, the prophets. Please, please. God go, is important. If I go to Saudi Arabia today, so your God am I going to see pussy? loads of men with six-year-olds as wives? Mm, probably not loads, why because, not? because, why because, not? because why not? M most men, because most men are not attracted to children. Yeah, but you said they follow their prophet. You're not listening. Are they not You're not listening. Yeah, you're, you're, not you're not listening. You 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 are you saying, no, you, are you, you, you see, about? what you're doing, you bro, if you just, check if we got, all right, I'll check just speak everything. louder then. Yeah, speak so louder. the brother says, say? the brother says, well, if I go to Saudi Arabia, will I see loads of men marrying children? Because no, he won't. He won't. Why not? I'll explain why not. One reason why is because it isn't obligatory that you have to marry a child it is only permissible that you can marry a child did you hear the difference secondly because most men are not attracted to children but Muhammad was attracted to children that is why he sucked on the tongue of a child that is why he married a six-year-old that is why he had sex with a nine-year-old you see bro if you interrupt me I just have to raise my voice if you want to have a conversation you have to listen to the answer now do you want to have a conversation or shall I just speak at this volume Right then, hey, 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 stop you interrupting. Touch little boys. Yes, of course you can. You please touch little argument. boys until this day. Stop, don't, 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 don't touch me, old woman. Your whole argument. Hey, Why are you hey, threatening hey, an old woman? I said, don't touch Why are you threatening an old woman? He's not going to hurt you, love. There's loads of guys that are going to stop him. There's loads of guys. Don't, don't, inter don't intimidate an old lady. You can, you just try to get aggressive with an old lady. Bro, with an old happen. lady and I wonder why, why? because Muhammad called for an old lady critic of his Bob. to be killed Bob. 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 while her child clung to her Bob, Bob, Muhammad please, is please, a man everyone please, yeah please, Muhammad is like please. you and me Bro, but please. what about Jesus Bro, please. Jesus he come from a Bro, Changing the subject. He's, no, just no, he's just running away. He's just running away. And guess what? He never <sighs> even finished his mission. He died virgin. He died virgin. You married. How the f is he gonna tell you about rule, marriage, and rules?
Bro, How Jesus will tell you about marriage rules when he's he died virgin? He's saying Muhammad was a pedophile. No, he let him say that. He's talking about his church. All of them church. They no, I'm the talking Bible's about Muhammad. Okay. Oh. Literally church. speaking about Muhammad. And he, church. let's explain he's something, guys. Play, the reason why he's so upset why? is because, because he does not want to imagine that his prophet had sex with a child. That's why he's angry. He's, he's not upset with that. No, he's not, he's not, he's not upset with his prophet having sex with a child. Ah, okay, okay. Because it doesn't make sense. No, the reality is that it is Islamic sources that say that Muhammad had sex with a child. Not Christian sources, not some right-wing pamphlet, but Sahih al-Bukhari said Muhammad had sex with a child. And he's angry about me exposing that. Because he doesn't want to imagine his okay. prophet having sex with someone who is young, a prepubescent child. And he's right to be angry, but he's being angry at the wrong person. He shouldn't be angry at me for referencing Sahih al-Bukhari. He should be angry with Sahih al-Bukhari for saying that Muhammad had sex with a child. He should be angry with Muhammad for having sex with a child. Yeah. Okay, so you said oh, the only reason you had this issue with Muhammad well. was that because he's a prophet and Muslims follow him, right? That's because otherwise you accept it in the Christianity, in the Jewish community, <laughs> historically it's happened all over the place, in every culture. However, the only issue you had with Muhammad was because he was a prophet that Muslims follow, right? That's why you had this problem. Yes! And then when they asked you to, tell me about the Islamic world, one country that represents Islam, you said Saudi Arabia. And I ask you, if I go to Saudi Arabia, am I going to see loads of men wearing six yeah. And what did I say? No. And why did I say no? Why did I say no? Why did I say no? And? 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 And because something that is permitted is not necessarily obligatory. It isn't obligatory to marry children. They do! In Saudi, you just said that Saudi represents Islam, and if I go there, I'm not going to see all men marrying six-year-olds. Will you find some? In the in the extreme minority, probably. Is it permissible? I'm sure someone could use the argument from the Quran to make it permissible. But is that a problem? It's not the norm. You said Iraq, Is that a problem? You said, you said the whole Islamic world, and I'm telling you, I ask you, where should I, where, what country on the planet? That's Islamic. If I go, I'm going to see men you're talking marrying about, and, you're and talking and about what he called Muhammad, what he called with kids. It does exist. Yeah. What about first Samuel? It does exist. Why, 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 do, why, why are you, why, why are you so keen to defend this aspect? Because it's, it's a claim you're making. First Samuel 15. No, it's accurate. You it, it's inconsistent. Well, is it accurate? Let me explain why. Is it accurate? Please let me explain why. You said the only issue you have with it is because Muslims follow Muhammad. Otherwise, it happened in the Jewish community. It happened in the Christian community. The only reason you have a problem with Muhammad is that he's a prophet that all Muslims follow. And I'm asking, and I'm telling you, if you Jealous. look at the Muslim world... No, 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 hold on one second. And I'm, and I'm, I'm telling you, if you look at the Muslim your, world, I don't see you, men your, marrying six Your people. argument so, so is a cartoon characterization of my position. Your argument is sci-fi. Your argument is a cartoon characterization of my position. Your argument is a cartoon characterization of my position. Your argument is a cartoon characterization of my position. Allow me to reply. Allow me to reply. Allow me to reply. Yeah, I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that. Yeah, I'll do with that. I'll deal with that. It doesn't make sense. Okay, right. So, so let let's let's just deal with the characterization. No, let's deal with. I haven't said. I haven't said that 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 all Muslims marry children. I have never said that. I no, don't interrupt or I just start shouting again. Because I'm getting on your So. You have said, thank you. We have said that right. you God killed Muslim Listen, Muhammad listen, or I just have to stop your shouting if you can't yourself. control yourself. So why are you not so talking about your God? Who right, keep kids? so I have Infants. never Infants. said, yeah. I have never said that all Muslims copy Muhammad. If you actually listen to what I say, 
I've actually said that there are lots of Muslims who are better than Muhammad. No one that better than Muhammad. They don't do what Muhammad Maybe Muslim, did. Maybe all Muslims better than you. I've also but said better than in this conversation, I tell you not that, that you listened, that there is a difference between what is permissible is between and what man is and obligatory. God. I'm telling you that. And the reality and is, God. and I'm going to pull up a list soon. And if someone could maybe beat me to it, that would help. Oh, yeah. All the con Muslim countries where children are still being married. If someone could maybe find such a list, right? Is legally, it, legally, 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 legally. legally like you can just pull up the age of consent in the Islamic world. So now listen, listen. <laughs> don't shout. The reality don't shout, is in Saudi no Arabia, don't in Saudi Arabia, listen, right? Yeah. You. Are you trying to be scary? I'm gonna talk you're not over scary, you. bro. You know Are you not scary well. at all? You know right. So listen. So I'm yeah? not listening. Matter of fact, what you in do? the Islamic world, no in God, many yeah. places, we, let's talk about God. marrying about children prophet, is still like permissible. And, let's talk about and the God reason God. why they make that argument is the because of this hadith. Food, Sorry, can we pull up the hadith again? You're following your God. I'm going to get it. Your book is upgraded. I'm going, no, no, no. Every right? couple years listen, new book. listen. That the prophet married her when she was six years old and he's consummated the marriage when she was nine years old and that is narrated in Sahih al-Bukhari narrated by Aisha there's the Arabic no one is lying Bible first Samuel 15 and that is Sahih al-Bukhari 5 1 3 4 so we're not making it up now could you pull up a list so basically where child marriage, the, the soldiers, Isaac, the woman, Isaac, and he gives yeah. the infants. From nine infants is younger than six years nine, old. Generally. Do you know what it's infants it's means? So, but the liar, do you know what infants means? Listen, listen, you know, listen. are you listening? No, are you listening? Right. Are you listening? What's your God saying? In so Yemen, in Yemen, yeah. it's legal to marry and have sex with a nine-year-old. Liar. Wait, liar. let's have a look. Show us a wedding. Show us a wedding. Look. Show us. It is a liar. Listen, you, 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 bring a, you bring a claim, back it up, back it up with evidence. Listen, listen. In Bangladesh, it's acceptable to have sex with 14 year olds. He was married to seven, nine years old. Your grandfather was a pedophile. Are you listening? You, you yourself, yeah? You're a pedophile yourself. Tell him he came yeah, he's, 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 what about Saudi Arabia? Mary, Mary. She was I thought you were already in chat. What happened to you? But I think we can agree that in some Jewish parts of the world, they can use the arguments from the Quran or Hadith to make it permissible. But that's very different to whether it's encouraged and actually actively done. Yeah, check Thailand. So it's not necessarily true. Check Thailand. Wait, which one is important? Gods or the prophets? I'm sure in every religion. Let's talk about that, fam. Let's talk about your God that comes from a Bunani. Okay. And he died. Let's talk about that. How does it make sense to you, your low IQ? It was only in, it was only in 2020. Okay. How does it make in sense in Saudi Arabia yeah. that they made uh, the age of consent yeah. was outlawed for anyone under the age of 15? In 2020, how long has Islam dominated in Saudi Arabia? For 1,400 years. There you go. Thank you very much. There you go. So, how, now, now let, let's deal with this. Let's deal with this. Let's deal with this, bro. Let's deal with this, bro. So, what? Let listen. Listen to my. Listen to my. Listen to my point. Yeah. Listen to my point. No father. No mother. So, my point is, ladies and gentlemen, is that everywhere around the world, every country is raising the age of consent. But the greatest moral example, which is supposedly Muhammad, married a six-year-old and had sex with a nine-year-old. So the entire world, including many Muslim countries, are saying in their legal systems that Muhammad is not an example to follow. Do you see my point now?
Italy, age of marriage is 14 years old. I can't hear you, you're going to have to speak up. 2021. The pop the build and the liar, he doesn't want to tell you that. How have I contradicted myself? You have with Muhammad having done this is because all Muslims follow Muhammad as a role model. And you just said actually in Saudi and all these Islamic countries, it's not the case. What I said, again, you weren't listening. What I said was it is permissible and that some Muslims do it. 100% Jews to accredit. 14 years old. In a minority, in every culture, in every religion. I'm, I'm from in Oman, Oman I'm from it's Arab. the law. In before, hey, hey, listen, I'm from, from Arab. 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 But that's, Arab. that's the point, bro. I would always. I, I, what I said to you is that the sexuality attracted to children is a minority sexuality. Yeah, I'm But I never argued that they did. You have. You've got the wrong end of the stick, bro. Exactly. So if Muslims are in their laws saying that you can't marry six-year-olds and you can't have sex with nine-year-olds, Muslims themselves are admitting, are admitting that Muhammad is not an example that they are willing to follow. You're allowed to keep a kid's infant child. Basically, like, they're not even six years old. They know what's infant child. Two years, two days old, they can be an infant child. That's right. Would you marry a six-year-old? No. Why not? This guy's a stupid son. He's a liar, son. If it's I'm a priest, that our rape boys like he so, can rape. So, this guy so, when he was young. Because, right, here's, you, 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 you're following a, a logical rape. fallacy. You're saying, because you found, you're following a logical fallacy. 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 You are following a logical fallacy. And the logical fallacy is this. That because I can find an exception to the rule, that the rule does not exist. Secondly, you're saying, you're assuming that religions work like democracies. The Where fact of the matter is, religions work based upon authorities. The text of the hadith is an authority on interpreting the Quran. The Quran allows marriage to prepubescent children. Did you know that? Is he encouraged by his family to marry a six-year-old? He is permitted by his authorities to marry a child. The fact that he does not want to is a credit to him, not to his religion. My dad didn't told me to touch boys in the church or whatever. My dad didn't raise me that. My dad is a Muslim who told me marry the woman that you want. Nobody says six years old. Nobody says a Christian touching that music. Sahih al-Bukhari says six years old. We showed you the reference. If you have a son, you'll put your son al-Bukhari said six years no, old. No, we showed Sahih you the Bukhari, reference. Sahih Bukhari is not prophet. Sahih Bukhari five, is not one, three, Sahih four. Bukhari is not Sahih al-Bukhari, so you know five, is, one, hadith, three, four, says that Muhammad so married that a six-year-old and had sex accurate. with a nine-year-old. We showed you the reference. Who from the he Quran? says... Who is from the Bible? Oh, that you got on some It says keep infants. Infants, you know. It means one day, year, one day old or two days old. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. That's from a Bible. Go to the Old Testament. I accept that Muslims. Whatever you will find. I accept that Muslims pick and choose which hadiths they want to believe in today. No, 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 no. They do. They do. Like he just did. He just said that specific hadith may not be completely accurate. Can you accept that? Right. The, no, I don't accept it. Let me explain. Let me explain. Shall I shout again? Shall I shout again? Shall I shout again? Why does that make you right? Do you want to have a conversation? You shout, you're right. You see, the thing is, if you just keep asking the same question over and 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 over, it gets tiring, doesn't it? Right. So let's have a conversation. Look at his face. So, the reason why I don't accept what he says about the hadith. You know, the devil color is red. Yeah. He's not an alarm. He's turning red. Let me finish my answer. He's not an alarmer. He's just someone in the park making a lot of noise. Now exposing Imam you. Bukhari. I'm a little boy. Imam Bukhari. And I'm not even a religious. Is celebrated and I'm by life. Muslims for collecting authentic hadiths. Imam Bukhari is an authority in the Islamic world, not this guy.
That is why I don't accept what he says. I accept what the majority of Muslims say about Sahih al-Bukhari. Do you understand my point? Have you done your army? 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 I'm sorry, say again. Have you have a Islamic leader who is a notable figure in the Islamic world and question the accuracy of this hadith? Would you accept it? So I'll give you an example of someone that does. Mufti Abu Layth. He lives in the UK. He questions these hadiths. He is, he is rejected by huge numbers of Muslims. Not that big. Too late. But better. Too late. You're on camera. So. So, so the so point is, he's eBay, rejected eBay, eBay, by lots yeah, and eBay. lots of Muslims <laughs> for rejecting eBay. Sahih al-Bukhari, <laughs> including, including by Muhammad Hijab, by Ali Dawa, they reject Abu Layth, by Shamsi, they reject Abu Layth. The, 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 the reality is, bro, my problem, and, and maybe this is where you're getting me confused, my problem isn't with Muslims. My problem the problem is yeah. with There's Islam. Reason yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no Don't problems judge with Muslims. Don't judge a book I'll judge them no as I meet them. Some of them are lovely. Some of them are It depends who you meet and what mood they're in at the time. But Islam is not a democracy, like Christianity is not a democracy. It isn't decided by majority opinion. It's decided upon the authoritative texts. And for Sunni Muslims, that includes Sahih al-Bukhari. And I have the right to take issue with that representation of Muhammad. If the, most, if the most knowledgeable scholar in Islam comes today and says, hey, this Sahih Bukhari could potentially be inaccurate at some point, would you accept it? The, the reality is, bro, it, bro, the reality is, bro, your question is a false question. No, it's a false question because you, there, is, there is no universally accepted highest authority amongst the Muslims. They don't have a Pope. One second, one second. They don't have a Pope. They don't have the idea of um, ecumenical councils. Every Muslim chooses the ulama that they like. And so, you, you, have one so you've got, so you've got as many as opinions as you have scholars. Again, you are mischaracterizing my argument. My issue is not with Muslims. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? So my issue is with Sahih al-Bukhari and what it says about Muhammad. His God, his God says you can touch one day old, but he has problem with uh, nine years, 18, 14. But one day old, you If you do a consensus of which Muslims accept Sahih al Bukhari and which Muslims don't accept Sahih al Bukhari, then you'll find that the majority of Muslim scholars accept Sahih al Bukhari. But if some of them, like he said, he's just being pol political and you're a fool. He's saying that right now, but in his mosque, in his mosque, he'll be saying he believes in Sahih al Bukhari. He'll say, Yes, I'm saying he's being dishonest. I'm saying he's being dishonest. That's what I'm saying. Read first Samuel. I'm saying he's being Chapter dishonest. 15, because I guarantee in his mosque and in front of other Muslims, he'll be Chapter saying he believes in Sahih al Bukhari. Who said that? He, he will say that. Are you going to feed that in my mouth? So you don't so believe in Sahih al Bukhari? So you don't two believe in Sahih al Bukhari? Who said Al-Bakari? that? Who said that? Do you? Again, I'm asking you. I'm telling you this, yeah? I am asking you. Do you and believe in Sahih al Bukhari? I'll tell you this. Okay. I believe Sahih and Bukhari, but it doesn't mean everything no, is right. He said, he said, but not right. everything so is right. So which criteria? We have, like 99, we have weak hadith, we have a strong hadith. We yes. Have, we have, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So it doesn't Daif, mean, uh, so you, Hassan. You go for the Daif. Sahih. You go no. for the Shia. No. You go for the Shia. You didn't Daif. listen, did you? No, you don't listen. You didn't listen. You don't listen. Five, which three, one is greater? Four. Which one is greater? The hadith listen, or the Bible? Listen. Which one listen. is greater? Hadith or Bible? I thought five, Bible was the word three, of God. Five, one, I thought Bible was three, the word of God. Four, why are you not from going from the Bible? Sahih Let's go Bukhari. from the Bible and Quran. Did you hear that? Le no. Sahih Quran Bukhari. Bu Quran what does Bible. Sahih mean? Quran and Bible. What does Sahih mean? What does it mean Bible mean? What does Sahih what mean? Does it mean? It means a, a, a library. What does, mean? what does Sahih mean? It's a word of Satan. What does Sahih mean? It's a word of God. You see, you don't, why Satan? don't you want to answer a question? Why does he want to know answer from his Do Bible? you know what Sahih means? He's talking oh, about Sahih. Hadith. Hadith. Sahih it means right. There you go. Sahih means right. 
and he said he believes it. So he says on one hand, he says on one hand, he says on one hand, it's right and it's reliable. But then when he finds those hadiths embarrassing, he says that they are daif. On what grounds do you say it's Saif? But never find in the Quran. I find on what the Bible. grounds do you say it's Saif? Your God says you can keep one day old. Can we pull up the Bro. verse in the Quran donkey, where it says brother. about prepubescent children? Your God children? says even kill donkey and keep one day old. Bro. So what the Bro. flip are you talking about? Don't be a hypocrite, Bro. Yeah, you, Mr. Liar. You literally just contradicted yourself How in the same conversation. How? I would love to tell you. How? Let me tell you. Go on. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Patience, patience. I watch you a lot. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I will stop you if you talk. Let me tell you. You said Sahi means right, reliable. That's what you said. It's on camera. I never said reliable. Reliable is different than right. Right. Right or reliable is all dependent on how you translate the Arabic. Is that mean reliable, right? But then when he found the hadith embarrassing, he said that it's not reliable. Your English. They have to teach you English. What grounds do you say it's not reliable? English is What grounds do you say it's not reliable? Listen. What does it mean, infant? What grounds do you say that it is not reliable? What does infant mean? On what grounds? Yes, Go on, I'll talk to you. No, 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 no. You're not talking. You're not, no, 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 no. You're not going to dodge me. I'll answer you. You're either going to let me dominate you. I will or dominate you're you. I will I'm dominate you. you What's infants mean? Like, What's infants like, mean? What's infants 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 mean? I answered you what Sahih means. Answer me what's infants. So you can shut him up. The Quran 2.222. What's infants? Before he shut me up, he has to answer me like that. I answered him. Is he not man enough? Are you not man enough? Are you not taking one on one? I took yours. Wait, talk mine. So what does it mean infants? Stood right here, bro. What does it mean infants? Hold on. Just What does it mean infants? Hold on what? Just gonna get it for you. Don't be scared. He's holding me from. What does it mean, infants? I'm gonna get it for you. He's gonna get for me infants, you know. The word of infants. He's okay. Gonna get it for me. Right. Listen. Look at this stupid guy. Yeah. Are you listening? <laughs> I don't listen, man. Okay. Oh, he's walking off. He's walking off. I said infants. He's walking off. Infants. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reply to this now. He's holding oh, up. Oh, bro. Get off, get off, get off for the people's words. Infants. Get off for the people's words. Infants. Look. Infants. Get off for the people's words. Infants. Look. Infants. 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 Yeah, I'm going to reply to this guy, and then we're going reply to talk. Answer infants. You okay. don't need to use the. So we're talking about the waiting periods between ago, divorces. Ten minutes ago. He no, the, the Quranic verse away. about the waiting periods between Answer divorces me, in that include with the, those who haven't had their courses yet, their menstruation. Brother, right, go on. Well, By the way, we don't need to get all touchy touchy. Man, man, okay. Where does it mean infants? Well, I mean, if I if people interrupt me, I have to shout. Go on. Okay, but what I'm saying is, why are you debating this in the first place? Why don't you debate what is the truth? Right. If that was the truth, you'd follow it, right? So, shall I answer that? Shall I answer that question? Hold on a second. If you genuinely believe whether you go to heaven or hell depends on Islam, why would you follow that? Okay, so let me answer that why question. Would it matter? Do you want me to answer that question? Yeah. Right. So here's the problem, right? This book you say is from God, mm -hmm. okay? This book says that you can marry children. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show it to you right now, okay? I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Yeah, right? Now, do you believe that you can marry children? I mean, personally, the way I see it, see, I'm not that knowledgeable, so I don't want to speak on anything, because obviously, in Islam, we don't believe that's right. But what no, I you do. Is, Let's read it. And those of you, this, so this ayah, this oh, verse, right. is talking about the waiting period between divorces. Between, if I divorce a woman, how long can a divorced woman wait before she can remarry? And it gives all the qualifications thereof, right? Listen to the words of this verse. And those of your women, as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them, the idda, you know what idda is, the waiting period? The idda, if you have doubt, is three months and for those who have no courses and this is what your muslim scholar puts into the text in saudi arabia id est which means for example id est they are still immature okay that's your muslim scholar commentating on your quran saying that you can marry 
children. That's, that's a lie. Okay. Yeah. It's right there in your book. I agree. That is a lie. It is right there in your book and the Quran is lying to you. But you know what I'm saying. I'm saying to you, let's say, yeah, like imagine there wasn't any religion. There was just like one religion, yeah? Yeah. And it says you can, I don't know, murder is fine. Yeah? Yep. Obviously, we know murder is wrong. Yeah. Sorry? But if you believed it was the truth, oh, okay. Something you know is wrong, but if you believed it was the Stop. truth, Stop. and you could prove it was the truth, then you would follow the religion, right? Right. So, so let, let, let's just be clear about this. Your religion is telling you that you can do things Stop. that you it's know okay. are wrong. See, look. I don't know, like I said, I'm not knowledgeable. So I, I don't want to look. I, 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 that's why I don't want to I, I, speak on There's no religion right. on earth. So there's let, no religion let, on let earth. Let me just talk to this bro. You you see, and this bro. You see, this bro, this bro is why I've got a shout. Because here I am trying yeah, to have a conversation this. with you. Hear and, this. And this is what I've there's got no problem. religion on earth yep. that tells you to do no, wrong. No, I want to address your key point, which is, why aren't I debating what the truth is? Don't be silly. I am saying that we can investigate. Stop why are you tell trying me to tell him? Religion Sorry, that tells you to do wrong. Don't be intimidated by this guy. No, I was the Bill Amina Shaitan Rajim. There's not by one this religion guy. that tells you, you to do wrong. Are you, so how are you dare you then tell him that? Are you listening? Are you Muslim or? Of course. He's Muslim, yeah. Okay, what I'm saying is like. F finish the argument! So, so let me. Finish the argument! There's no religion on earth that tells you to do wrong. Why are you letting him dominate you? He's ISIS, listen, by the way. Hey, listen, listen, ISIS, I've, won, the way. I've won the argument. He's ISIS. There's no religion on earth yeah. that tells you to do wrong. Right. So don't whatever he's saying is stupid. Like, so if you want to get your point, because you want to be so, so, so carry on debating and wasting let, time. Yeah, You've got yeah, things to do. I'm going to try and speak. I'm going to try and speak. Check me, I've got him. So, so the reason why, the reason why we're talking about this topic is because we can, we can discern what is the truth. Our responsibility is to find the truth. Would you agree? Yeah. Right. So we've got to find the truth, right? So it's not just a case that we should accept what people tell us. We should investigate it. Your Quran even tells me to investigate your Quran. It doesn't tell you, it tells me, right? So when I investigate the Quran and I find something that says those who have no courses, that's children, and your Islamic scholar agrees with me because he's put the words, they are still immature into the text. You can read that, right? Yeah, I'm not lying, am I? Am I lying? No. Right, so I am not lying about what your scholars are saying, your Quran is saying. But what I'm saying to you is, if you believe that, you're an idiot and you haven't found the truth. Because you know in your heart and your mind you shouldn't be marrying and having sex with children. Okay, but what I'm saying is, how does that tell you what the truth is? Because if your religion is telling you to do something that you know is rationally wrong, rationally, you know it's wrong, to marry a child. Okay, but I just said to you. Right. What if do you agree religion, that it is rationally wrong to marry children? Look, I just said to you, if there was a religion, one religion, not like loads yeah. now, one religion, and it tells you murder people. And you know it's the truth. Right. You said you'd be part of that religion, right? So you, what you're saying to me is, because your religion says that you can marry children, you're now I'm willing to marry children? Right or wrong. I said to you, I'm not knowledgeable, so I'm not going to speak on this. Right. So but what I'm, and saying, what to I'm you, saying to you, you've you got said, the you evidence. Said that, brother, don't interrupt, so. Come on, yeah. you're doing it now, bro. Okay. Okay. I'm saying, don't look at, like, you're trying to prove this is wrong, so don't do that. I'm not going to speak on that, like I said. But I'm saying, if you look at, the, if you look for a proof, that's better. There's no point arguing on things like, did this happen? I could come to Christianity and say a number of things, but like I said, I'm not going to say it. But if you look, you should be looking for the truth. You shouldn't be looking to try and say this religion is wrong because of that, this religion is because of that. So let, let, me, let, let me address this point. Let me address this point. Firstly, I hope you will now go and give that lecture to all of the Dawah team in the park. Because that is exactly what they do. They come to this corner every Sunday attacking the Christian faith. Every single Sunday. All of them. So please, we would like to see the videos of you telling them not to attack Christianity. But something tells me you won't do that. I mean, not, Wait, one second, one second, one second. The next thing is that you agree that you have a moral obligation to find the truth. Now, God has not left you ill-equipped to find the truth. He's given you reason. He's given you rationality. He's given you the ability to speak and to have conversations. He's given you the ability to analyze texts and to think about what these texts mean. Now, I'm asking you to do that right now because your text is saying that you can have a waiting period between marriages and lists amongst those that have waiting periods, children. Now, you know that it is not rational to marry a child. 
So your reason and your conscience, which is also given to you by God, are both telling you that the Quran is misleading you. The question is, do you have the confidence to follow your reason and your conscience or not? Okay, but I already told you, I'm not looking to say what's right or wrong because I don't have the knowledge to say that. But I'm just telling you to, like, like you keep coming back to the same argument, but I'm saying there's no point looking at this. Why is there no point looking at it? Because this, this is just looking at, you said you, people come to this corner to attack Christians, right? Yeah. So you react to that by doing the same thing? No, 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 no. In my faith, there's no, there's no prohibition about attacking ideas and belief systems. There's no prohibition. In fact, as Christians, we're commanded to attack ideas and belief systems. Okay, but when you come to attack, attack from a point of like proving it's true. Look at like where where do where do Muslims prove the Quran is the truth? Look at that. Uh, 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 shall we do that right now? No, but see, like I said, I don't know. I'm not knowledgeable. I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to be talking about that. You know that big embryology yeah. fake miracle that Muslims talk about in the Quran. When they say that the Quran describes embryology, it's totally false. I don't, I don't want to comment on that. Because but I don't but hold on one second. So, so a couple of things, right? You are, you are here saying on one hand that you accept that we have a moral obligation to find the truth, but yet when you are confronted with something that questions Islam, you, you, you don't want to consider it. So I you're betraying your moral obligation. Do you want to consider that? Speak to like, there's lots of knowledgeable brothers here. They just run away. They all run. They you all run. Ali yeah, he runs. runs. We've yeah. got him on camera running dozens of times. He just runs. I mean, I'm sure there's Ali context. Dawa. Ali like, Dawa, Shamsi, Hashim, Mansour, Muhammad Hijab, uh, Adnan, Rashid. Adnan Rashid. They just run away because they can't handle these arguments. I mean, I don't We've know. I'm, I'm not really. I think there's, there must be content. They won't run away to that. Like, they, they are. They are. That's exactly I, why they run. I've seen them. I, but like, I tell you what, we're gonna, we can approach them with you. We can approach any of the dawah. Yeah, you can stand by the, in the distance and you can see what what the, what the reaction is. And then you they'll run. I, I guarantee you they'll argue. With you. They'll they, run. They, look, I, I don't know the the argument for this because I said I don't have knowledge. But I'm guaranteeing you. But, but wait, wait one second. Because well, here's here's the problem with you. You've got a cognitive dissonance going on right now. You're saying two contradictory things. You're saying on one hand, I have a moral obligation to find the truth. Agreed? I'm not misrepresenting you. But then on the other hand, you're saying that when you encounter something that, 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 is, that, that challenges your faith, you're saying, well, I don't have the arguments for this. So what you're saying is, I am not, I am not searching for the truth. What you're, what you're doing is, I, I'm, I'm looking for the way to defend the truth that I accept already. Actually, no, what I'm saying is, I should have the knowledge, so I should be going to look into this. When, I, when you see, when you show me this, I should go. Okay, that's interesting. I'll go look into that. But right now, I don't have anything to say to you because I don't. I don't want to comment on something I don't know. Okay, so talk. We can do something hypothetically, right? Hypothetically, you go away and you research this, and you find that yes, the Quran does legislate for div the waiting periods between divorces, and includes amongst those women that have to wait between divorces, children. And you find that Muhammad did marry a child and he did have sex with a child. Are you still going to follow Islam? And then if I find proof that the Quran is the truth, and if I follow the Quran, that's going to lead me to Jannah, I'll follow the Quran. You haven't actually answered my question. You just ignored my question completely. I mean, okay, my question was, if you go away, yeah. and research this for yourself okay, yeah, and you yeah, find yeah, yeah. once again and you find that i'm not lying to you mm -hmm. the quran does list children as pe uh, amongst the people that have to wait between marriages so these are children that are being married multiple times and you do find when you look into the hadiths that muhammad looked at a six-year-old and wanted to marry her and had sex with her when she was nine even though your reason and your conscience both tell you that that is wrong and your reason and conscience are indisputably from God, are you saying that you're not going to follow that God-given intellect? Like I said, I don't see that as relevant. If I found, if I found, look, if I found like, a, like that one religion, yeah, it can say anything. It doesn't matter what it says. I'm not looking at the religion going like, okay, I didn't come into Islam by looking at the Quran going, I like these principles, I'm going to join Islam. I could look at many books, I could look at philosophers if I want to. But I looked at Islam because I believe that there's a truth. If I thought Islam was like, if I thought Islam said, I don't know, give me something that's wrong. 
uh, marrying I'm children. No, I'm not. I'm not giving you anything different. An example. Uh, deal with this worse example. Worse this, deal with this example. Give me an example worse deal with that. this example. It doesn't matter. Okay, Why? Example. Deal with this example. example. If I thought that was the truth, I'll follow it. So you, you're saying that because of the Quran, you would be willing to marry a child? If that was the truth, if I'm going to go to Nar because I don't follow this, I'm going to follow this. So you would be willing to marry a child because of the Quran? It doesn't tell me to marry a child. Says it right here, look. Right? Remember, this passage is talking about the waiting period between marriages. So it assumes a marriage. And it says this, And those of your women, as have passed the age of monthly courses, so that's elderly women, for them, the idda, I'll read the brackets as well, pres pres prescribed period, if you have doubt about their periods, is three months. And for those who have no courses, that means no periods. What do you call a, a woman that doesn't have a period? An elderly woman. Call her a child. A child, okay. Yeah, and your scholar agrees with me because he put, you read these words so people don't think okay, I'm lying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I.e. they are still immature. They are still immature. What do you call a female that is immature? A child. There you go. Mm -hmm. So your Quran is saying that you can marry a child. Do you think that's right or wrong? Okay, so... I want you to answer my question. I'll answer it now. Okay, so... If I think that's right, even if I... That's not that's my true, question. I said, do you think it's yeah, right or wrong? So, okay. I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to comment on that because I don't know. But if I thought it was right, yeah, assuming I thought it was right, I would still follow it. Right, and what I'm saying to you is you have a moral obligation to use the two faculties that God has given you. you. Would you agree that me and you can dispute about which of these books came from God, the Bible or the Quran? So that's disputable, isn't it? Would you agree that it is indisputable that God gave you reason and conscience? Uh, yeah. Right, so you know that something you have is actually from God, your reason and your conscience. So if your reason and your conscience is telling you that this passage of the Quran is wrong? But it didn't tell me that. If it told me this is the right book and that is... So would you marry a child? If that, if that is the truth, I'll do it. I'm but not asking you that. I'm truth. saying would you marry a child? If that, if that, see, that is the truth, but I'm saying... Would you marry a child? I wouldn't, but I don't have to. Right. You don't have to, I agree. The Quran is not stipulating that you have to marry children. Do you think it's right to make it permissible to marry children? Would you would you start a political party and campaign to allow the marriage of children? The answer to that question would be, if the Quran says that, then I would say it's yes. And that's the problem, bro. Uh, but if, that, if that's the problem, look, if this is the truth and it says that, then that's what I'm going to do. See, okay, this is, this and that's the problem. In, in, in the 1800s, UK allowed people to marry six-year-olds. Yeah, but, but, but in the 1800s, we don't lift them up and say that they're prophets. But, but again, it was a Christian country. Again, we don't lift them up and say that they're prophets. Yeah, but they were Christians, right? And we don't lift them up and say that their laws are from God. Yeah, but it was a Christian country. Is this from God? Of course it is. Right, so if this book from God says that you can marry children, do you think that that's right? Well, yeah, I would. And that's the problem, bro. Listen to yourself. Here you are in the 21st century saying that you are willing you to marry if. a child because your book says you can. You said if. That's the problem. You said if. That's the problem. Would you marry a child? Do, would you want us to make it legal to marry children? Well, I don't know. If it's you don't know. You don't know. And that's the problem, guys. And I can see the conflict within you. I can see that conflict within you. You might deny it to yourself, but I can see it on your faces. Each one of you is right at this moment fighting between your belief in the Quran and what your conscience and your reason is telling you. I'll just I'll just show it to you, love. Bear with us. We just had it a minute ago. Sorry. Just show, show us where it says. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to. Surah 65, Ayah 4. Surah 65, Ayah 4, right there. So I've just literally given you the reference. Literally gave you the reference. Surah 65, Ayah 4. Let me read it to you, right? So it's talking about this verse. No, no, no. I'm going to speak. You've asked me to do something. I'm going to do, oblige you. But now it's incumbent upon you to show politeness okay. and to well, let me speak. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Right. So this ayah is talking about the waiting period between marriages. Right? Now, if you're waiting between marriages, what is the assumption? That there's a marriage, right? That there was a marriage. Yes? I'm not being illogical or unreasonable, am I? Okay, so listen to this verse. Right? 
So he's talking about the waiting period. And for those of your women, as have passed the age of monthly courses, for them, the idda, that's the waiting period, the idda prescribed, if you have doubt about their period, is three months. And for those who have no courses, and your Islamic scholar from Saudi Arabia puts in brackets, id est, they are still immature. Can you see those words? Immature. Look, no. that's what oh, your scholar okay. says. Arabic, immature. Arabic, though, it's different. In oh, is Arabic, it? It's it's this is, this in English, yeah. it's not, in Arabic, it's completely different. But this is just the translation. Wait, one, sorry, one second. Can, can I, can I, sorry, I disagree with you, and here's why, right? Because I think, I'm going to be, you're flanneling me, love. Do you know what I mean by that? Sorry, but can I just say No, 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 no let, me, let me explain wait, my point. Wait, wait. No, wait, let me wait, explain wait, why wait, I think you're wrong. Dr. Muhammad Tak ul Din Al Hilali okay. and Dr. Muhammad Mushin Khan of Islamic University sorry. are the ones that but, translated sorry, sorry. this Quran and they are the ones that put something? these, yes, you can, but when I finish, have put these words in the brackets. Okay. Now, what are your qualifications to say that you outrank these I people? Can't read Arabic. In, in Arabic. Oh wait, my gosh. Wait, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't bring any anything out of badness from the Quran when it's in Arabic. I can bring out loads. in English, that's different. No, we can't. Arabic is completely different. So, so what you're believing is a myth you can't even test. It's not a myth. You can't it's read Arabic. You can't read Arabic. See, I'm Arab, guy. I can't read Arabic. So how do you know then? It. I understand it. You, if you can't read Arabic... Who, who can read Arabic can read us this yeah, right, in Arabic. Arabic. Right. Read it in Arabic. Firstly, let everybody, let, let's just agree, this is my book. Stop grabbing it. Okay. I will hold it for you. Let, let, let someone read it in Arabic. Let right. Read it in Arabic. Okay, go on. So th this is the passage. I will hold it for you. There you go. This one. Out loud. You can put your finger on it, just don't grab it. إن تريتم فا 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 عدتهن عدتهن ثلاثة أشهر تريمات يا التي لم تحض before is correct قبل ما تحض before yeah yes والتي والتي حملنا جهودهن من من بعضهن حملا ومن يا ومن ومن يتقي الله فيجعل له من أمره يسرا okay now let me ask him Oh, sorry, one, one question, one question, one question. Does it, does it say for those that have no courses in the yeah, Arabic? But, yeah, but look, what I'm saying is... Does it say that? What I'm saying is to you... Those I'm who have no courses. No. Sorry, I'm asking him a question. Yeah, but We've look, just done an exercise. One second, one second. Sorry, sorry, guys. You've just done an exercise in let an Arabic speaker read the Arabic Quran. So now it is legitimate for me to ask a question. My question is a simple one. Do the words that for those who have no courses appear in the Arabic, for those who have no periods, for those who have no menstruation? Does that appear in the Arabic? So I'm not lying then? No, 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 no. So that, that means that God is saying, do not come near to the woman who has her menses, this, this because number it's one. not pure. Second one. You, you, no, hold on. You, you've missed the argument entirely, sister. Let me, let me be clear, clear about what we're talking about. Yeah, so this, yeah. this passage, you've just said he doesn't know English. So this passage is talking about women between, di between, between marriages. The waiting period because, um, between, ago, one second, had, had no, um, one second, no between marriages, anything, so between marriages. Yes. And that includes, it lists those that haven't had menstruation. What, what, what is someone, what is a woman, a female that hasn't had menstruation? What do we call them? What do you mean hasn't had menstruation? It's amazing. Yeah, Everyone in the world can answer this question. He was looking for a child. The, the, which is the right answer. One second, for. one second, and just so that you don't think I'm like, one second, one second, yes, of course. Just so you don't think I'm making it up, your scholars are the ones, not me. They are the ones that put, they are still immature. Yeah, but they're the ones who put it. God didn't say it in Arabic, though. Look, it's look, not look. there in Arabic. Look, so what, what, is, it, what, is your, what are your qualifications for disagreeing yeah, with these guy, two doctors? This guy, they can this put whatever they want. Yeah. But in in Arabic, Saudi Arabia, Arabic, I don't think so. In Arabic, it's one book. Quran is not from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is a country, that's it. Quran doesn't come from Saudi Arabia. It's from God. I'm saying to you. In Arabic, it's different. I can disprove the Quran in 10 minutes. No, you can't. I'll do it in five minutes. 
pick up what, what I'm saying is like again you're right. looking at the text again I'm and saying I'm not going to say if it's true or not because I don't have the knowledge to say it's that. Arabic we just read it in Arabic God doesn't say and he that. agreed when that no sure. courses disappear I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to argue that because that's a long conversation and, that's what you're doing right way, now God but what I'm saying to you is if it's the truth or if it's not, it doesn't matter. If this is the truth, I'm following it. You get yeah, but me? God doesn't agree with child marriage. Uh, except Muhammad. I'm not saying how old was Aisha? I'm just saying it doesn't let, matter. Yeah, let, Wait, hold on. Right, so how old was Aisha when Muhammad married her? Um, I don't know. Six. But how old was he? She wasn't six. Yes. Man. That's no, no. That, no, it isn't. That's not. That, so, so an Islamic website called Islamka. Islamka is an Islamic website. No, it's yeah. not true. Quoting, not quoting, true. look, 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 this is Sunnah.com. Look, one second, are you listening? Yeah, there's no point getting emotional. No, you're wrong. She was 40. Don't get emotional. Oh, it's gone, bro. Can we go back? Whether it says that or not isn't the point. What the point is. Right, look, look. She wasn't sick. Look, sister, are you listening? You can get emotional. No, I'm right, just listen. No, that's listen, bro. Right, that's listen, listen, listen. You can get emotional, bro, but it won't. It, you, you can get emotional, bro, 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 but it will bro. not change any other facts. Bro, you can't be saying yeah, that. You, let, let's, let's, let's look at this. One second. Are you listening? You're getting emotional. You need to just listen. Look, look, look. Are you listening? Are you listening? Because you said that I lied, and you said it was from an Islamophobic website. I'm going to prove you wrong. Okay, do it. Sunnah.com. That is an Islamic website. Sahih al Bukhari. Sahih al Bukhari 5134. That's an Islamic source. And this is what it says that the Prophet, peace be upon him, married her when she was six years old and he consummated his marriage when she was nine years okay, old. So That's an Islamic website okay, quoting something? an Islamic we're source talking about, talking about your Prophet. Okay, if she was six, we're talking, uh, about, was 14, we're, we're, we're talking about 1400 years ago. Yeah, in saying those saying like times, Mary it could have been okay no, 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 for that. But now it's not. You get me? In those times, it could have been. It's not pedophilia. So what you're saying is, well, what you're saying is Muhammad is not the best example for today. He's the best example for mankind. Except when he's marrying children. Oh no, 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 no. If she was 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, it doesn't matter what the Quran says. It doesn't matter what the Quran says. I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. It does not matter what the Quran says. We should stop following it. I'm trying to say to you, if the Quran says she's 651.89, it doesn't matter. If it's the truth, we follow it. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. I'm not going to come out on what the Quran says because I don't have the knowledge. Wait, let's go in the Bible. In the Bible, it says that Jesus went and gone killed all the women and children. Show me. Um, I've I've seen it so many times. Jesus. And so, so the sister says that she's seen in the Bible where it says Jesus said kill the women and children. Show me. Show me. Show me where it says Jesus does that. Show me. I don't have a book. I tell you what you do, you're flanneling again. Oh my god. You're just I, making I, stuff up. I don't know how you're just making stuff up. The thing it's the like, thing is like, the thing is it's like right, uh, let, let's try and move this discussion forward. Right? To, to whether the so I, I wanna I wanna I wanna demonstrate to you. you know what? Wait, anybody who doesn't know the Quran Arabic can't say nothing. I don't believe in Arabization, but why did you when you can't read the Arabic? I understand yeah. it, but I listen you to literally it, just I'm stood here and said that I'm wrong, but now you're telling me because I don't know Arabic, I can't say anything. But then you said you can't read Arabic, so how can you say I'm wrong if you can't read Arabic? Well, maybe you can understand this then, love, because your Quran has a goring error in it, a glaring error. Are you sure? Okay, I'll show you.